Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it is Tuesday afternoon and it is a nice day out. It's uh, 67 degrees. Right now it's 530. So we have about an hour or so left of daylight. And um, I was itching to try and go down to the creek and um, see how the sand bass are doing. So it should be going pretty good. Uh, we haven't had any rain in a couple of days. So hopefully the water is down where it should be and uh, visibility has cleared up a little bit. But uh, we'll see when we get there. I'm not sure how muddy it's going to be still. Maybe fairly dried up. Uh, past couple of days have actually been pretty nice. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'll be driving by it. So we'll see if anyone's parked down there. Because um, I don't know if I want to try to hop the curb uh, in this car I really don't want to get stuck in the mud out there because um, I'd have to probably just call a tow truck to get me out and <laughs> I really don't want to do that so um, if I see somebody parked down there I don't know we might end up parking somewhere else and doing a little bit of walking uh, which will burn a little time but um, we'll see how it is whenever I get down there but uh, I'll get over there and figure it out and then uh, update y'all when we're there. Or I'll just see it down at the water de depending on how it goes. So um, anyways, figured I'd uh, bring y'all along with me and uh, see if we could hook into some fish and do a couple of sandies before the sun goes down. So uh, I'll see y'all there. All right, guys. That's the creek right down there. I just... You can see those two guys walking back there. Every step you take is just mud. Look at all this sand right here got just dumped here. I'm not sure if the city dumped it here or if that's just kind of where it sat, but it's like a little beach down here. Looks like the creek might be up a little bit. I mean, there was a ton of people down there fishing. Oh Lord, that is super steep. There's not even any good spots to fish. That is really, really steep. I may have to walk down a little ways and see if I can find something. If I can't, there's a pond over here, but I'm gonna get the GoPro on and start walking around and uh, seeing if I could get any fish. All right, change of plan. So uh, I wasn't getting any bites over there at the creek. So I think I'm gonna make my way over to this pond and use up the rest of the daylight there. Just because I don't want to burn the, all the daylight trying to get something out of the creek and uh, then it just doesn't work out. I feel like I'd have more luck over at the pond. I'm going to get over there and uh, use up the rest of the daylight. Once all the daylight's gone, I'll have a concrete path to walk on <laughs> back to the car. Instead of uh, going through that back to the car. So... I think it's for the best that I go to the pond. So, unfortunately, tonight was a bust. Um, so, y'all pretty much just got to watch the sunset through my GoPro. Um, oh well, I think what I'll do, instead of closing the video out with no fish, is uh, take my GoPro with me to work tomorrow. Um, I'm not gonna take any fishing gear with me. Man, that wind is killer. Um, but, uh, I may get off early enough to hit up some ponds close to work right when I get off. So I'll take my GoPro with me and uh, right when we get off, if there's any daylight left, we'll go to those ponds. I'll leave what I have tied on, tied on, so I'm ready to go. And uh, we'll see if we can get a couple of fish out of the ponds tomorrow. Yeah, unfortunately. Today was indeed a bust, 
but uh, oh well, still fun. But um, yeah, I think that'll be it for today. Time to go home and uh, do some editing and uh, eat some dinner and hang out for a little bit. But uh, I will see y'all tomorrow after work. There we go. Little fish. <laughs> Itty bitty bass. Tiny little guy, but he swallowed that treble hook. Tiny little bass. There we go. That's a fish. Little fish. Skinny little guy. But he is a fish right in the roof of the mouth. My goodness. There we go. Hmm. Eh. Nice little fish, little large mouth. Hopefully we could get a couple more before we have to head home. Let's get a time check. It is 6.15, got a couple of Facebook notifications. There we go, that's a fish. There we go. That's better. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yep, there we go. There we go. That's a little better. Look at that, right in the roof of the mouth. Good hook. See if I could get it out of him. Got this weed guard crap on here. Holy cow, did I set this hook? Get off there. Um, alright, let's see. How to. There we go, my God. Look at that, that's a little better. May have must messed up his eye a little bit. Good fish, huh? There's a fish. There we go. And get over here. There we go. This guy's got something going on with his gills. It's another good hook set, my God. Okay. Yeah, look at this guy. Super pale, barely any pattern on him. Flip him over, look at his gill. I don't know what's up with that. Good fish. Woo! Well, they seem to be liking uh, this jig head here. That's what I've been using. So, it's doing pretty good that fish I actually saw him wake out from this grass here so he's already kind of shallow Let's see if there's any other any others up here 
Alrighty guys, uh, turn that light on so it'd be a little better to see me, but uh, fished until sundown two days in a row. Yesterday was nothing, but uh, today we got, uh, I think it was three fish. It was two, those two bigger ones and then that one really small one. Um, so, in the video on a good note. Uh, but yeah, got to enjoy two sunsets, so that was nice. But um, I need to practice working the bottom because I'm not very good at that. It's usually not, it's not really what I'm used to doing. I'm used to like moving baits and stuff like that um, and top water. But uh, I, think, I think I need to get like a Texas rig on there um, or just use that jig head some more. But I really need to um, practice working the bottom of the pond um and just work on the bottom fishing because uh that's where i got the two of the uh the better fish the bigger fish was uh on the bottom i was like kind of bouncing it on the bottom and um yeah i just need to practice that but uh yeah i hope you all enjoyed that uh next video i'll probably be working on with a jig head or a texas rig so uh we'll see how that turns out and um I keep going to the same ponds just because I know there's fish in there um, and I've kind of learned what they like at, at these ponds but uh, I'm really going to start trying to go to new ponds just so it, it's, it changes up a little bit. Um, I know some people get bored with the videos if I just keep going to the same place over and over again so I'm going to start looking for some new ponds to go try out and um, when the weather starts going, I have a couple of videos I really want to go do. Um, I really want to do a lot of uh, fly fishing videos this summer um, when the creeks warm up and everything comes out and I'm able to get out there um, and get some creek fish. But uh, some fly fishing videos, uh, urban creek fishing videos, because I have creeks lined up that I really want to go try out. but. I have to wait for it to get hot out first so that uh, those fish are out. But, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, joining me for another video. Um, I'll keep them coming if, if y'all keep watching them. So, uh, let me know what you think of the videos. And uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It, it really helps out. It makes me feel good. I think we're at 32 right now. So it's slowly climbing, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, I will see y'all next time.